baby. I was about to ask where your water, but I forgot you put it in your backpack, right? Don't forget your water though, boo boo, okay? It's the art room, baby, come on. You're in the art room. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. What? You? <laughs> yep. I have the camera sitting here. Now I'm getting a little bit perturbed <laughs> because now I'm getting a lens era. And as soon as I got it back, you know what? Let me go ahead and call Cannon while I'm sitting very comfortable in my car. I noticed as soon as I got it, received it back, I started getting this lens era. Um, so I'm wondering what the hell happened in between them getting it and me receiving it. Why now am I getting a lens era? And it says lens era and then it restarts. It shuts down. Right now it's okay, so I'm gonna get this in. But that is annoying as hell. And I have, I have until July 27th, because that's when I purchased it to, you know, get this looked into. But anyway, y'all, it's Friday and I'm ready to sway. I just picked, I just dropped off JB girl. Um, one of those teachers is a little, she's just being a teacher, but she's a little over overbearing. I need for her to stay in her lane. Um, I started back working out yesterday. Very, very slow, y'all. 30 minutes on the treadmill, very light weight. So today I'm going to do again 30 minutes on the treadmill and that's it. I'm going to do 30, maybe 35, 40 minutes on the treadmill. That's it because I have a meeting later on this morning. Um... It has been a very interesting work week because of the holiday for next week. We are, those of you who are not here in the States, it's 4th of July, next Wednesday, it's in the middle of the week. So a lot of our clients took off. A lot of people I work with took off. Hell, Christine took off. I'm like, hell, for, I spoke to her this morning. I'm like, I should have taken off. It's just a very weird work week because we don't have any scheduled trainings for next week. So I, I'm really just sitting up here looking at emails coming on my phone. I'm just, you know... But I'm taking this time to play catch up on maintenance in the um, the system. Those of you who don't know, I'm what's called a learning management system administrator, and so I manage our trainings within an um, online system. So I'll just play catch up for getting ready for for a Q3 girls. What I'll do. Um, huh, Miss Lori is the woman that owns the in home. Girl, hold on. What is that? What is that? Oh, it's just a fly. It was crawling in the... I thought it was a spider, y'all. Yeah, I don't do spiders. I can handle flies, but I don't do spiders. Let me lay down the window. <laughs> I don't do spiders. Um, If y'all remember, I had put some flowers together a couple of... In my one of my previous vlogs. And that was for Miss Lori. And she owns a in-home daycare. Why is she sick again, y'all? She has... Um, one of the neighbors told me that she now has shingles, the shingles. I'm like, she didn't get the chicken box and she was <laughs> But a lot of women, a lot of people, elderly people tend to get the shingles, hep C, all that type of stuff. So she's always had some medical issues. She basically doesn't have an immune system. And I told her to her face, y'all, how I am in, in, on here is how I am in person. I am very upfront. Um... I tailor it to the person that's receiving the message, but I let her know. And I said, you know, I know that you love kids and you love to care for kids and you want to help people, but ain't no kid worth dying over. She has had pneumonia three times this year. Long story short, one of the other neighbors wants me to keep her daughter, her son. Uh, she asked me what, what my schedule is. I said, I'm okay. It's kind of slow next week, but I'm like, it's probably going to be longer than that. If it doesn't take that, what? It doesn't take a week to get over shingles. It may take a couple of weeks. So she pays me. I'm down for it. And plus he could play with JB. JB will be home with me a couple of days next week. So it is what it is. But yeah, that's what's, that's all of what I have going on. My camera doing some lens era thing. So yes, let me go ahead and get Canon on the phone and be like, I have a lens era. Now that I have my camera back, what the hell did y'all do? I mean, I know y'all packed it. They wrapped it up in a bunch of stuff. Now what I did to help my screen and i feel like they did something with my screen because even jb and i was like i told jb i said wasn't my screen worse than this was i imagining this disaster he said no nah, mom it was worse i feel like they've done something with my screen but it looks better 
I'm looking at the top, sorry. So what I've done is added a screen protector on that. So let me call them, you guys. Um, hey, y'all just got back from, from the gym. I had to cut my workout short because I forgot, I don't know, I need to stop. I had to stop at the grocery store. So real quick, I wanna show you guys something. I, one of the reasons why I went natural, my hair, is because I wanted to have an overall as healthy natural lifestyle as possible. So I switched up a lot of things, how I eat, what I put on my body. Um, I rarely use lotions. Like I use oils instead of lotions. I use coconut oil mostly. Um, for my skin, as far as soaps, I use natural soaps. Uh, what are the black soap? <laughs> natural soaps, black soaps, vitamin E soaps, lavender boy soaps, we usually get them from Whole Foods. And I have been on a hunt for a deodorant, which I think is really important because, yeah. And so I have here raw earth, Let's see if I can get that. Raw earth organic, there you go. Raw earth organic. This has lavender oil, baking soda, uh, ylang ylang scented. It smells nice. And this has been, out of all the, and I have a couple of down there that have tried, this has been the most effective. I mean, I just got from the gym. I feel okay. Um, <laughs> Amazon is tripping with their deliveries. They they are straight up tripping. A package for me a couple of weeks ago, they had on regular clothes and they were in a minivan. Like if you're not wearing brown and driving a brown truck, you don't need to be touching my packages. Hollywood Beauty has sent me all their entire collection. He said he would send it to me, the guy I've been in contact with, sent me their entire collection of the Ergon Oil um, line. Thank you guys. Y'all, this, this child, JB is playing, but he is so loud. Do y'all hear him? I am I am four rooms away, and he's still being loud. Okay, three rooms away. Anyway, y'all, I try not to be negative, but I just, I am just in a font lately. Let me tell you something. I don't like Phoenix. <laughs> I know some of you are like, damn. I do not like Phoenix, Arizona. I never really have. I try to, you know, deal with it to suck it up. There, are, I have a laundry list of reasons why I don't. Um... Yeah, I've never really felt Phoenix at all. And it's so hard. This is why I think this trip for me, when we go back in September, this is gonna be difficult for me, especially especially since we're going back as a family and we're seeing all my family. It is always so hard when I come back from Texas and come back here. It gets, for me personally, it gets worse and worse every year when I go back. Every, every time I go back, I should say, it gets worse when I come back here. Um, and I always told myself I would never raise a child here in this state. There's just too many things that I don't know if people are aware of how conservative Phoenix is, too. Um, there's issues going on with um, mostly on the east side. So I'm in a couple of Facebook groups. There's just multiple issues with race relations going on here in Phoenix and her neighborhood. Though. So, yeah, it's just Phoenix has the highest or the fastest growing number of skinheads. Oh yes, and they have a large, huge population of sex offenders. One, my girlfriend just told me that who moved away um, for her child. So on to good things, y'all. Update about my titties, about my breasts. It has been what? Has it been six weeks? Has it been a month, a little over a month? Has it been five or six weeks, y'all? My scars look amazing, like, my after pictures are gonna be bomb compared to those other helpers I've been seeing on, on the website. So I've been using a DIY scar cream. It's just shea butter, tea tree or frankincense, tea tree oil, sorry. Frankincense oil, vitamin E oil. I think I did uh, castor oil, sweet almond oil. Yeah, all that girl. And I've also been using this Palmer spray and I've been using this stuff religiously. religiously. Now it's a little bit itchy up underneath where there's a long scar here, but I'm okay. I still have to sleep on my back. 
even when I lay a little bit on my chest, it hurts after a few minutes, which means I can't even do any. I wanted to do a, um, a medium perm rock set. I can't do that because there is no way in hell I'm gonna sleep on my back in some perm rocks. And that goes that curl formers tutorial too. That's a wrap. I won't be able to do that until I can successfully sleep on my damn stomach. So I don't know. Hey y'all, so this is my hair, my makeup. Can y'all see my makeup? You really can't. Um, JB, oh Lord, today is the day Well, I definitely needed some adult time. I'm gonna show you my outfit in a minute. This is not what I had planned to wear. I had a very cute summer, <clears throat> this is still summer slash spring. I had a very cute summer shirt like it was really cute and chasing after jb i got oil on it so i had to switch up my outfit at the last minute literally the last minute um he's acting crazy so my husband and then they went they went somewhere let me show you what i'm wearing real quick and then i gotta go i think i know where this place is at but you never know um this is a new shirt i got from ross and y'all seen these pants before these are high-waisted stonewash pants a little necklace here, some earrings, makeup is very pretty. Hair is banging. By the time I load up this video, the hair tutorial will be up. Um, but yeah, very cute. I didn't have change. I didn't have time to change up my purse, so yeah, I have a tan purse, but whatever. All right, y'all. Oh, y'all, I tried to lay down and take a nap. My family, there is no. When you're a mother, you don't get a break. I tried to really lay down, take a nap, but they kept coming in the room. So now they're out there swimming, whatever. So I've been home from the brunch for like an hour. It was a really good time. I had a really, really good time. I stayed the entire time. Um, I would definitely be going to another one again. Let me fix this picture, y'all. Real quick before I forget, YouTube is straight tripping. I have uploaded, I mean, I did a lot of videos um, this morning. I like edited and uploaded like five videos. Why, what is that? Sorry y'all. Why did it release one of my videos, my pie video that I scheduled for next month? I went ahead and unlisted it, or put it on private because I didn't want that, I, I'm not gonna be, you know, releasing two cooking videos in one day. That's ridiculous. So I have between seven to eight videos scheduled and it's making me nervous because for some reason, I don't know. And another thing I noticed, I'm not getting notification of comments. I literally have to log in, go through my um, community area to see comments that you guys make. I'm not getting any, no, any notifications that people are leaving comments on my videos. I'm over it. So. There's a, there's a little delay of me responding to you guys. It's just going to be, um, even if I can. So I'm going to sit here and lay down. What the hell is that? Oh, his tablet. I'm going to lay down where they're outside. I'm making fish tacos today. I had, what I had? I had French toast at the um, brunch and one piece of chicken and like two slices of bacon girl. But I only had one thing of French toast because I knew we were gonna have any fish tacos today. It's gonna be fried catfish tacos too, girl. Um, and then tomorrow I'm taking it eat it easy with lettuce wraps. Just really watching it, you guys. I've lost a little bit more weight. So really, can you tell by my face? I'm really trying to watch it, so yeah. No, it's not gonna hurt, baby. I gotta wash JB's hair this morning. Y'all, I'm toying, contemplating about, I'm struggling with this church I've been going to. It's the These Holes and Loyal Church, by the way. If y'all can hear me, I'm, it's early, so my voice is deep. Um, the last service, uh, he had just made some questionable comments, and I'm a type of Christian, though. I question. I, I question my pastor. I'm not gonna be blindly following someone, okay? If I feel it in my spirit, I'm gonna question you. So, you know, speaking on the fact that there are some Christians who believe that women should not be on the pulpit and should not be preachers and all that, and ministers. So he's like, well, you know, what are you talking about? What about Paula White? What about Winnie Bynum? And red flag. Most of you may not, and I know some of you may not agree with me, and that's fine. Um, they are false prophets. 
especially Juanita Bynum. I could possibly give Paula White a little pass, but what sparked my little uh, doubt about her was when she allowed herself to be wrapped in scrolls, very similar to Eddie Long. And we, yeah, um, she allowed herself to be wrapped by this self-proclaimed Jewish rabbi. That, I mean, that's disrespecting uh, Jewish people, and I, I do know there was an outcry from them when that happened because it was televised. Anyway, y'all, that was just fuller in my opinion. But Juanita Bynum, twice divorced Juanita Bynum, who speaks out against homosexuality, and then on one flip, one hand says she's been with women. Hypocrisy. Her, you're a hypocrite. Yeah, Juanita Bynum, no, and I believe if I remember correctly, one of her husbands was still legally married um, while she was dating them. Lord, yeah, you gotta be very careful. And this is a fairly large church. He had a lot of followers. And I do know, just looking at some of the Google reviews, apparently he has slipped up and cursed on the pulpit. Girl, y'all. The only other church that I absolutely was getting it and it felt it in my spirit, come to find out they're Trump supporters. Who has cursed in the pulpit? <laughs> right, JB? <laughs> He's quiet. You need to be around around some kids that look like you. Even though they're a little- This is my new milk. Your new Vanilla milk? Vanilla milk. Vanilla milk. So JB, you only have a few more weeks for summer school and then you go to kindergarten. How do you feel about that? I feel very, very, very excited. Excited. So now we're gonna do a little bit of learning today because we got off track. And then when Thomas is here next week, we're not gonna do, we're not gonna be able to do much. But we're gonna have to do a little bit of learning this morning. Okay? Ew, there's a, there's a bug in that Thomas. So real quick, I have another YouTuber, small town, small time YouTuber that I think you guys should subscribe to, especially my 45 plus natural YouTubers. Um, I know you all can't see that. Her name is my silver, no, the silver crown. <laughs> Let me get her full name. The Silver Crown. JB, hush. The Silver Crown Natural Gray Hair. Check her out. I like her. I really do. Oh. This is JB's outfit. He's obsessed with his watch. I'm going to change the number Oh, Lord. Okay, let me show y'all what I. Um, look you're at still looking good. There's two. <laughs> There's gonna be new weeks today, so I watch. It's so long. <laughs> Look at his face. All right, y'all. We are at my thing's about to get like we're at fries. I know y'all like she's swagging and stuff at the church. Yes, church was church was good. They had a guest speaker, but girl. I'm not gonna say anything. It was good. It was oh, it was good. It was okay. Um, I got a message. That's that all that matters. Scares me at church. What microphone, baby? The microphone was speaking so loud. And when at the kids section? No, you're not. I'm not tall section, dude. Y'all see, he's been calling me dude for a while. That's better than bro, I guess. 